Good day once again, everybody, and you are welcome to Mathematics Solution Center. Today, we are going to be looking at a question that says, calculate the standard deviation of the following marks, 2362-5042. Solution. The first question is, what is the formula for calculating standard deviation? And I'm going to show you the way the formulas in uh, statistics, how they vary and how you can always memorize and remember them. I will start from the simplest one, which is me. This is how I know this formula. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm not checking this formula from any material because I already know it, but I want to tell you how I got to know this formula and I will never forget it so that you can also make use of that. I know that mean is equal to what? Summation of f of x over summation of f. Then there's something called mean deviation. For us to have mean deviation, it means that what? We have summation of f into bracket what? x minus mean. The only thing that I've changed from the first equation and this second equation, we have changed what? x to what? x minus x bar. Let's say this is variance is equal to what? The only thing that we also change here is summation of f into bracket x minus x bar then squared over summation of f. Actually, most of the times it is written like this, summation of f bar x minus x bar squared over summation of f. This is just to show you that what the two bars represent, it simply means that what the modulus, you ignore the negative sign, that is the only difference there. Then our standard deviation will be equal to what? The square root of what? The variance. Square root of what? Variance. Therefore, variance is actually this raised to power 2. Square of a standard deviation. We are going to use in this formula to calculate the variance. And after we've gotten our variance, we find the square root of the variance. Then we get our answer. Okay. I would like to follow the frequency table format. Ask. Frequency So let's evaluate our f of x, 0, 6, 3 times 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. Summation of our frequency is actually 8. The mean is going to be equal to summation of f of x over summation of f, which is equal to 24 divided by 8. 24 divided by 8 is actually what? 3. That is the mean. So x, 0 minus mean. 0 minus 3 is minus 3. 2 minus 3, minus 1. 3 minus 3, 0. 4 minus 3, 1. 5 minus 3, 2. 6 minus 3. Three. So the absolute value of a minus 3 is actually 3. 3 times 3 or 3 square is what? 9, 1, 0, 1 square, 1, 4, 3 square, 9. Now let's find the f of uh, x minus x bar squared. Then we are going to have 1 times 9. This is 9. 3 times 1. This is 3. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. 4 and 9. So let's find this form summation of this. Okay, 9 plus 3, that is 12, plus 1, 13, plus 4, 17, plus 9, 26. Therefore, our variance is actually equal to what? Summation of f of 
x minus x bar squared over summation of f. This is the same thing as 26, 26 over 8. Our variance is equal to 3.25, while the standard deviation is actually the square root of the variance, 3.25. Let's check the options. Option C is the correct answer. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because more questions and answers are coming your way. Thanks and remain blessed.